points let's welcome uh, let's look in today the history of commodity market in our last class we discussed about the types of commodity that is traded in the commodity market once again i'll repeat that commodity one is precious metal another one is the base metal another one is the energy products and as well as the agri products in agri products as i very clearly told you soybeans cardamom um cottons and various other commercial crops okay so these are the commodities that is traded in the commodity market but now we will understand a little bit of history of the commodity market now the world's first commodity arose from agriculture practices okay and as the weather conflict supply demand okay so a lot of merchants started trading the commodity so commodity was traded in 17th century japanese rice futures okay and 6000 years ago a commodity was also traded in china in the us during the early 1800 agriculture commodity notably grains was first set up we call it as seabot okay this group of broker established a more efficient standardized method of exchanging goods and payments for over 100 years agricultural products remained the primary cause of future trading we had soybeans we had cottons we had livestock precious metals financial futures but 20th century witnessed fast growth of commodity market after the rebirth of exchange occurred in 1970s britain would collapse new markets were created in the early 21st century the advent of online trading system heightened the interest of commodity now you can see a lot of commodity markets worldwide okay the history of derivative market began with the establishment of chicago board of trade cbot that's what we call it as the mother of all the commodity exchange chicago board of trade then we have chicago mercantile exchange then we have new york mercantile exchange nymax we call it as new york board of trade okay these are all we can see here in american uh, the northern american and south southern american then we have london metal exchange then we have dalian commodity exchange in china then we have dubai golden commodity exchange in dubai then we have sydney future exchange australia multi commodity exchange india then we have uh, other commodity exchange worldwide Now if you look at the as per the latest data we deal in the commodity market approximately 791 trillions which you compare it with the average equity market it's over 37 trillion whereas in the commodity market they trade about 791 trillion now indian scenario commodity future market in india predominantly remain underdeveloped compared to us and uk markets the comprehensive government attention the agriculture sector and the post entrepreneur is a major contributor to this the product of several commodities is still regularized under the essential commodity act under the forward contract act uh, a lot of regulations is there in the uh, commodities now we had bombay cotton and trade associations and then we had so many uh, regulations after that but today we have what we call it as multi commodity exchange and then we have ncdx okay national commodity uh, uh, exchange okay these are the two exchanges that deals with the commodity market in india as of now okay now this commodity market in india is basically regulated by sebi okay so now what are the various commodity that is traded in india the commodity that is traded in india basically as i very clearly said about the precious metals the base metals the energy products and the uh, the the agri products okay now this is all about the indian commodity as i very clearly told you there are two types of exchanges in india that is one is the mcx we call it as multi commodity exchange again regulated by the uh, sebi then we have ncdx again a commodity exchange okay which is regulated by the sebi basically in india in the commodity markets are predominantly future oriented markets we will understand what is in agricultural derivatives even in in agriculture uh, sorry even in the commodity derivatives we have something called forwards futures options swaps and so on okay so basically in india everything uh, whether it is stock market or whether it's commodity market both are controlled by sebi if you have to trade in the commodity markets 
you also have to have a, a, a GMAT account and exchanges have a lot of products okay which where as I very clearly told you there will be a broker for that exchange and you go open an account with the broker and you'll have to deposit some money we call it as a margin money and you have to trade in that particular commodity either you can buy it or you can sell it and once you buy or sell it at a future date or in the spot market okay you will have to settle it the buyer has to pay the money the seller has to deliver the goods okay and then that is how this entire commodity market works okay by this today we come to the end of uh, the types of commodity the history of commodity markets the type of commodity exchange in the world uh, the types of commodity derivatives and so on so forth okay